Hey MIG Toes, this is Vention. Boy, I really need to trim these grapes or they're gonna take over the whole house. <laughs> Well, I'm just hanging out here, living the dream. Enjoying the, uh, the MIG toe lifestyle. <laughs> Good times. Basically, um, I just got back from a trip to another state and I've been looking at some houses over there and I found this a couple of really nice places. Well, they're sort of fixer uppers, a little bit like this place, but um, but they're on like very close to this lake, like within a half a block. And it would be awesome for like getting a little sailboat and sailing around and learning how to fish. Good times. Um, so basically, and it has like a very, um, a uh, an RV a covered RV pad so that I could uh, uh, do that mobile lifestyle thing and um, it has a beautiful shop with like a second floor on it <laughs> and it's got uh, it's uh, and it's on one and a half acres I think or something very close to that and um, right next to it there's a uh, a slightly smaller house with a lot bigger lot like six acres so um, either one of those houses would do nicely and so I'm getting my paperwork done the plan is to get uh, get a mortgage approved and then uh, <clears throat> and then buy that house just buy it and then uh, begin the process of moving and I'll be able to take all the time I want I'll own both houses and I'll just be able to like load up at my leisure <laughs> and uh, make a trip over there and sort of camp there and then uh, rest up for a day and then turn around and come back and make another trip and uh, not killing myself, not stressing myself out. Um, most other times I've moved, I had some kind of time limit, but uh, but as far as this goes, I'll be able to take all the time I need. Um, yeah, good times. And I love being able to be completely uh, autonomous on this. If there's nobody that I have to consult, there's nobody that has the ability to like threaten me with divorce <laughs> if I don't do exactly what she wants me to do, right? And um, so basically, not a bad situation. Um, this trailer is nearly done. I just took a little bit of, I took, I kind of hurried up a little bit and uh, uh, hit the hit it up with the primer um, before I took off on the trip. So all the time I was on the trip, I it had time to uh, to uh, dry. And this is the way I, with the materials I have and. Uh, I don't really have the ability to make a very strong rear gate that could like be used to as a ramp. Um, I would need metal for that. Uh, like, and I don't know if I would be able to make it really robust enough to make it do well. So I just sort of thought, I just sort of came up with this idea on my own. <laughs> We've got, uh, here's the back. And these are going to be the latches right here. As you can see. And then what I do is I just drop those latches into these slots. Then I'll have a, uh, a locking device. These look little bolt locks on the side. And basically the boards go in like so.
trailer's a bit warped. It, it's seen some hard use before I ever got a hold of it. Anyway, then this little bolt lock will go right here. And that will hold, that'll keep the, the gate from vibrating out. And at the same time, it'll prevent the uh, sides from, uh, if I have it like loaded with something like brush or a lot of, I don't know, who knows whatever I have in here. But anyway, um, this thing will prevent the sides, which are not very strong, from from going out or being sort of sort of flaring out or sagging outward. And um, it'll also hold the uh, the gate down. And then I'm gonna take a couple of these little handles, probably stick it there and there. Then I'll be able to easily lift the thing in and out. That's the plan. But today, I'm going to put the final coat on uh, the exterior white paint. And then I'll, I think I'll just roll it on. And then once it's dry, I'll put the, put the handles and everything on it. And then uh, the trailer will be done. Then it'll be ready for its first trip to my new location. Good times. So yeah, it's uh that that lake house will be like like a dream come true, like a beautiful huge shop, way bigger than what I've got here. And uh three bedroom, two bath um on about an acre and a half. Uh, it's fully fenced. Um uh, jeez. It looks like exactly what the doctor ordered. <clears throat> and because it's close to the lake, the water table will be high. So chances are anything I plant there, if I use, you know, reasonable common sense, it, um, it'll get all the water it needs from the water table. So, uh, yeah, I'll be able to plant fruit trees, raspberries, uh, grapes, pretty much anything I want. And um, then, of course, I will uh, take off to Mexico and uh, finish up this cancer treatment. And then uh, probably um, then next spring, I'll spend some time <clears throat> with my dad, of course, and then uh, take off north and, uh, and probably do permaculture projects in the summer. So that's the plan. Good time. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to get on this painting. And don't get married.